Are you ready? Because it's that time. Welcome to the Word and Worship Morning Show, and here's your host, Team Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome back to the Word and Worship Morning Show, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know. 2020, it feels like we're in the middle of January already. Not close. No, it feels like I'm there. Oh. Like, you all aren't there yet, but it feels like I'm there. <laughs> it does. It does. January just kicked in here. It just kicked the door in. Just kicked it in. hmm She's like, y'all ain't there yet, but I'm there. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's how it feels. It's felt, actually, it's felt like that to me all week, since last week. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to. I had to look at the um, date a couple times mm. just to make sure I'm still in the first week. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I don't know if it's awesome, but it's. <laughs> but that's the way it is. But that's right the way now. it is. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, how was your holiday? It was awesome. It was awesome. My. Um, Thanksgiving, anniversary, Christmas, New Year's was very good. Okay. And now it's almost over. There's only like a few pieces of chocolate in the dish. Mm -hmm. That means the holiday season is over. That pretty much means it's a done deal. I'm lying. Am I lying? Yeah, you're lying. So what are we going to talk about today? Today, it looks like we are talking about prayer life. Ooh, prayer life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not just prayer, but prayer life. Well, you need to know what prayer is, too. Well, right. But, yeah. mm-hmm. but I think we um, we teach and we talk and we preach and we study what is prayer. And then we stop there. And that's good. That's necessary. But now what you going to do with that? Mm-hmm. I'd like to welcome everybody that's on Facebook Live. YouTube. YouTube Live. Go ahead. <laughs> you, you're going to switch it up. You got to know what I say. On Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, on Twitch Live, and Twitter Live. And if you are listening to us on the radio station at www.journey-radio.com, welcome to the Word and Worship Morning Show. Yes. We are talking about a prayer life. Prayer life. A life of prayer. Yeah. I ain't decided which one I like. I like that, though. Mm-hmm. I like that. that that's um, life of prayer. Prayer life. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. You know how um, you always you always ask you always say okay what is the definition? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking to myself when when I was studying, well yeah, it's not gonna be like a definition of that, but there is. Mm. So Merriam Webster's Merriam Webster and mm-hmm. the Webster dictionary says prayer life is a noun. Okay. So you have a prayer life a. according to the dictionary. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's an individual's private practice of prayer, according to to Webster. Okay, so a private practice of prayer. Now I know you're gonna rip that up because it's like shallow, but before you do that, okay, I was just captivated at the fact that there was a definition there. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. That, that's 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 okay. Now release you, tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just private practice, you mm-hmm. know. Um, practice. See, I like the practice part. Okay. It was the private part that got me. Well, I, now I can see the private part in individuals' private practice. Okay. 
I mean, I see what you're saying, but, you know. What? Oh. Tell me about the, why. What's the practice? What's the practice? Well, I mean, practice makes perfect. Yeah. But I just... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. The pri- the private part kind of got me because um, it's not always private. Mm-hmm. So I, I so it's, so if I have a life of prayer right. or a lifestyle of prayer, my lifestyle is not private. My lifestyle sits on me, and it's visual to people. So the private kind of threw me. The practice part I like, though. Okay. Okay. But I see the definition, though. I see the definition. Prayer life. Okay? Mm -hmm. The definition from Merriam-Webster, okay, it says an individual's prayer or indiv- individual's private practice of prayer. Okay. Now, a prayer life, that is that is your prayer life. That is your, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, now, having a prayer life, you also take it into different realms as far as corporate prayer and accessory prayer. There's like different avenues that we take that but prayer life is your so then that would be personal right so if that said an individual's personal practice of prayer I would go with it it's the private that's throwing me okay but I like the practice mm-hmm. Pract- I like the practice part because it denotes a continuation one okay but also, when you say it, practice makes perfect, mm-hmm. practice is the use of an idea or a theory or a belief. Okay. As opposed to just having the principle of it mm-hmm. so, or just having the, the thought or the ideas. But if I practice it, then I'm using it. Then I actually put it into um, action. Right. So when, it, so when the definition said an individual's practice of prayer and individual's use of prayer and I think I, I'm with you I would well you like the private I would probably have looked at an individual's personal use okay. of prayer and then you have to know what prayer is well of course yes right yeah. okay so that was the Miriam the Webster dictionary okay mm-hmm. that was the Worldly, oh, it was just kind of a surface as usual. Well, mm-hmm. right, okay. So, what do we get as the biblical definition of a prayer life? Well, then I think you would have to kind of look at prayer, mm. okay? Mm-hmm. So, prayer life simply means that at certain times during your day or in your life. Prayer becomes important. Okay. A life of prayer means that everything, every piece, every slice of your life is bathed in, is expired by, is soaked in, is covered with prayer. So in other words, it can be something that we do. It must be something that we are. So when you were talking about private, that's why I I said I kind of... I would. I don't know if I like the private part. If I probably would change that to personal, because if it's something that I am, that's part of my person. Mm-hmm. And then I also have to put it into action. But I think when that when that description says that, I think that's denoting. If I do the activity of prayer, mm-hmm. or do I live a lifestyle 
and my lifestyle consists of prayer. Because I think we can get in, uh, and I think I was I was sharing this with you, uh, I've been a couple months ago, how especially when you have assignments, if you will, or you you have tasks like in ministry, okay, you can get in the habit of something. And you can even get in the habit of prayer, especially if you are that person that's tasked with kind of coordinating that, mm -hmm. then it becomes part of your routine mm -hmm. or part of your habit. Mm -hmm. And for, for me, just personally, I had to kind of check that and, and just kind of step back and look at it. Your lifestyle, is it bathed in this? Or are you just in the routine? Mm -hmm. And so outside, so then I looked at the things that I'm tasked with. Now, if I pull all that out, right. now what do I have left? And that showed me my lifestyle of prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Or my life of prayer, if you will. Yeah. Now, let me say one more thing. You can say two more things. Okay. <laughs> okay. It must be something that we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. When that says that is something that we are, in that definition, it's talking about singular. It's talking about um, an individual. Yeah, you're applying it to yourself. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but it's it's saying your your life, your very being. Is it in prayer, or are you just in? Is your life in prayer, or is, or is prayer in you? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you in prayer, or is prayer in you? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, what, when, how? What, when, how? Okay. So, what is prayer? Because mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's good. We have to get that. We also mm -hmm. have to get the continuous practice. But you got you got to give, like, kind of basics. But I want to get stuck there. So, what, what's, what's the first scripture? Uh, Luke 10, 21... In 22. Go ahead. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. 22. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is, who the Son is except the Father. And who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills, wills to reveal him. So, what is? So, what is it? So, if we just take like the basic definition. So, what is, what is prayer? Um, prayer is communication. Okay. So, when I look at that scripture... Two com two different things, two different uh, conversations, or not two different conversations, but two different people being talked to right. in the in the scripture. Mm -hmm. yes. So if prayer is talking to God, then it's and especially when we get into like a life of prayer, it's mm -hmm. constantly. I feel a little hoarse. It's continuously or constantly talking to God. So even when I look at that text. When Jesus was talking, was praying, mm -hmm. oh, because this is right, right after they asked him, "Lord, teach us how to pray." When Jesus was talking to the disciples, then he began talking to God during his conversation with them, or including God in his conversation with them. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about that um, praying, and I have a life of prayer, I think that. Just saying that I include God in my conversation. I include God in whatever I'm doing. I include God. I'm trying not to say lifestyle because I feel like I'm gonna be. I'll use that word like and wear that out. But in my life and in my dealings, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. In mm-hmm. my, my dealings and my whatever it is that I'm, that's going on. It's including him in all of it. But that particular text included him in his conversation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because... Yeah. hmm hmm And so we look at Christ as our example. If he's our example, if to Jesus it was normal to include his father in the conversation, the concert, right. then it should be it. I think that's where the life of prayer and prayer life comes in. Okay. Is it like normalcy for you to include God in? Or do you have to, okay, wait, I got to make sure I pray. And, and then now I'm a dinner. Like I have to check a block type right. of a thing. Yeah. Hmm. So I never looked at it like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it should be because we talk about that a lot being in relationship mm-hmm. with him and so my your, your conversation should be in relationship so in a relationship if the only time that we because you say this all the time if the only time that we talk is if I just came to you to say I need this and I need that and can you do this and right. can you do that right. that's not a relationship that's not an ongoing relationship there's mm-hmm. nothing personal about that right so if I'm in a relationship with him, then my conversation, and that's not like I'm just walking around saying, hey, what's up? I'm not doing that. <laughs> but my conversation should be ongoing, and it should be personal, you know? Good morning, Patterson. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. So it should be an ongoing conversation. Okay. And I think that's kind of what, what Christ was doing in that text. So um, he was praying to the Father, but even as he was talking to them, he was praying to God, including him in the conversation he was having with them. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all right. I mean, I I, 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 I get that and I understand that. But let's, let's uh, I guess, go a little deeper, I guess you would say. So, so the question was, what is prayer? So prayer is the conversation, the, the relationship. That's how you be, that's how you that's how you get a relationship. Mm-hmm. That's how you um, maintain a relationship. maintain mm-hmm. a relationship. Yes, um, that's how you get a closer relationship. Is through communing through the communication. Um, I know this is very, uh, I guess, sh- shallow, but look at, look at, um, look at family, look, look, look at a, a husband and wife, mm-hmm. okay? If we don't communicate, then we're separated, we're separate. If we don't communicate, that means, you know, like I'm doing my thing and you're doing your thing, and we just pass each other. There's no communication, okay? So there's, it's almost like a division if you don't communicate, okay? You communicate, what happens when, you're commu- when you communicate? You're unified. Mm-hmm. That's the exchange of ideas. Exchange, right. Yeah, okay. there's the exchange of, there's an exchange. Because mm-hmm. if, if, I, if I say ideas, then it kind of boxes it into right. person to person. But there's an exchange that happens. Mm-hmm. And the exchange is ongoing. And the exchange is continuous. And I like how you said that. that I like how you said that it's... Um, it's uh, both ways. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because mm-hmm. prayer is both ways. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of the time... Especially in, um, like, uh, I guess, Babes in Christ, you know, when you're first, like, learning, um, it's a one-way street, you know, it seems like. It's always like, I'm talking to God, you know. But then you have to learn how to be still and hear His voice. Mm -hmm. Hear Him in your own way, you know. 
but that's to me that that's that's prayer is the communication, you know. And I but I like how you just how how that um, that scripture is right there, especially in twenty two. It says all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son w wills to reveal Him. So when we're praying. We're, when, we're, we're, when we're communicating with with, um, with Christ, when we're communicating back and forth, it's it's important that it's not always a one way street. It's not that we say our peace <laughs> and that's it. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. There's supposed to be, like you said, an exchange, mm -hmm. a, a constant, a, a continuous exchange. But that comes with the relationship. Because in relationship, what happens in relationships? Then you get to know the other right. person. Mm -hmm. And so in the relationship, you begin to get to know who God is. And then even more so than that, you begin to get to know what he's done. Mm. And who you are because of what he's done. And then uh, there's a sense of gratitude that happens. Okay. That's how you get into that whole thanks, that thankfulness and all that happens mm -hmm. in prayer as you get to know, as, you, as your relationship grows. But the growth of the relationship will only happen in the exchange, in the, in the place of the exchange. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like in the natural. It's the, you can know a person... For, it, it's kind of like Facebook. And so now people are on Facebook and they will see the name of somebody they were in high school with and then they will click and send you a friend request. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have known who you are. <laughs> I've known your name, although it's changed now and your name might be something else. But I've known who you are for 30 years. Mm -hmm. But I have no relationship whatsoever with you. None. Because there has been no exchange right. for 30 years. So the last thing that I know of you is whatever happened sophomore year. That's, that's all I know of you. Right. Because there's no exchange. And that's so the relationship st stopped at that point. And then people get on these social media platforms and you begin to exchange again. Mm -hmm. And start to... Um, develop more depth to your relationship the same thing happens in your walk and so you have to get stay we get in a position of prayer or we we pray and there's an exchange and then you get to know god mm -hmm. and get to know who he is and get to know not even just that but you get to know what he's done and and on your behalf mm. you begin to get to know that and then gratitude becomes a part of your prayer good mm -hmm. and that's vital that's vital but that only and the reason that's so vital vital like life sign right. the only reason that's so vital is because that will only happen if you're in the exchange mm -hmm. you will never get to the gratitude for no matter how much you want to you can't be grateful for something you don't know nothing about right you just just it's just science it's just common sense you you not you can't be grateful about something you have no idea about, and you will never have any idea about it unless you in the exchange. In the exchange, in the exchange right. you know. Right. So yeah. it's 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 not um, in the natural. It's not so far fetched that in a marriage you've been married for forty years, and then your children get become adults and they move out and then you sit there looking at each other and you don't know the person because you haven't exchanged right for the last 18 years with that person with that person you right. have exchanged with that little person that you've raised but a lot of times um in parenting and all that kind of stuff in life you've exchanged at your job mm -hmm. you've exchanged at the church you've exchanged at the pta meeting You've exchanged with your little person, but that one that you you're in covenant with, mm -hmm. then there's been no exchange. And so now those kids move out, and you sitting there looking at each other crazy, and got to start off, 
not even start over, but you got to pick up where you left off Mm -hmm. because there was a lack of exchange. And the same thing happens in our relationship. So when? Oh, you beat me to it. What? I was going to ask you. So when should we pray? 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Mm -hmm. Rejoice always, verse 17. Pray continually, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So I think the win is in 17. Continually. Pray continually. When? Always. We had that conversation in one of our other shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. That's scripture. Pray. That scripture pops up a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Pray continually. And mm-hmm. what that what that meant, you know. Yes. Yeah, oh we did. Mm-hmm. We did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Now, that's those those two right there are like okay, I I can do that. I I can re- rejoice if it's in that order. I, 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 I right. I can comp- I can pray in 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 my term of continually. I can pray continually. Okay. Now, here's the hard part. Give thanks in all circumstances. That's the hard part. Mm-hmm. If you look at that chronologically. Mm-hmm. So rejoice always. So if I'm in a time of rejoicing, then I can pray. Mm-hmm. If it's a time of rejoice, I can be thankful because all is well. So what happens when it's not chronological order? Right. Because it's not. It's com- it, There's commas. Rejoice always. So be in a place of joy always. Always. That's one thing, because mm-hmm. it's not a chronological thing. So while you're rejoicing, continue to pray and be thankful, which would denote I could do all that as long as I got as, as long as I'm rejoicing. So when I'm not, mm-hmm. when it's not, when it's not, I'm not happy about it. Right. I still have joy. Okay. I continue to pray, and I'm thankful in every circumstance, including the one I'm not happy about. Mm-hmm. Right, because, ooh, and that was another show. Mm-hmm. Because of the rest of that scripture. Right, because there's a difference in joy and happiness. Mm-hmm. You know, so so that, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. But I can be thankful in it all, because that says in all circumstances. The because, good, the bad, the ugly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because of the rest of that scripture. Mm-hmm. Because this, mm-hmm. whatever your this is, whatever is going on, is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, if I'm in Christ, whatever this is that's happening, I'm in the will of God. And so, I'm in the, what's this? Romans 8.28. I'm in the, the Romans 8.28. I'm in the... For all all things work for good. I'm in that space of all things working for my good, despite what the things are. Mm-hmm. But the win is in seventeen, continually, always, always. Mm-hmm. I think that's and I think that's what what Paul was telling them in uh, uh, Thessalonica. Those people in mm-hmm. Thessalonica was telling them. Pray all the time. So when when should we pray? It's always a good time to pray. Always. <laughs> and you we talked about that about um constant and consistent mm-hmm. when we were talking right. about that. Right. Pray con- pray mm-hmm. continually or pray always. Mm-hmm. So it's always not it's always a good time to pray. It's always the right time to pray. Mm-hmm. All yeah. always. It's always the right time to pray. And and I like how it was broke down when it says we ought to be in constantly prayerful state. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, I, I like how that, 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 that explains a lot. 
Okay. In a state of prayer. In a state of prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you know you're thinking, okay, well, how do you how do you pray continually? You know, so you're you know how can you have a conversation with someone and still be praying? How can you do your job? And still be praying. How can you drive, be driving and paying attention to the road and still be praying? You know, I mean, but it's a constant state. Mm-hmm. You're in that, you're in that state. You're in that constant state of prayer. So it's in your heart. Mm-hmm. So you're still, you're in a connection. Right. Mm-hmm. And that thing you were talking about in the verse before, mm-hmm. you are constantly in that's not the word you use, not connection. What's the word you always use? Communication. Communication. Yeah. You're in constant communication. Mm-hmm. Not I'm in constant verbiage. Right. Like words. I'm in constant communication and constant connection. And so my um, mindset mm-hmm. is always in a place of prayer. So whatever is going on. Even when whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. you always remember we were talking about that like a life, a prayer life, or a life of prayer. Mm-hmm. And so, my life is bathed in yeah, that, right? So, whatever I'm doing, so you can go into the jail and do your job in a place of prayer. Matter of fact, you better be in a you place better. of prayer <laughs> yeah. and be in a place of prayer. Mm-hmm. So, when things happen. It should become. It becomes your default. Mm-hmm. It, it's your default system. Just, I I I, I share with with uh, with you like a. It's kind of like breathing. Mm-hmm. So when the the pressure in the lungs pressure makes you exhale, exhale. it does. There's a pressure mm-hmm. that happens, and it causes you to to exhale. The same pressure. On life happens, and by default, because you don't stop and say, "Okay, I mean, it, it causes you to inhale," is what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't stop and say, "Okay, hold on a second before I finish that. Let me inhale." Right. Okay, hold on. Let me. You don't. You don't mm-hmm. do that. It's by default. The pressure in your lungs by default causes that to happen. The pressure in life by default should cause prayer to happen because it's your default mechanism. It's automatically what you do. Not because you have to sit and make sure you check how many times you do it. Right. Or right. if you're the person who happens to schedule it for the whatever that kind of stuff is. But it's a, a it's not just a routine, but it's part of who you are. Mm. Not just what you do. Mm. And it, 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 it's the thing. It may have to start as a routine. Remember, it, it will. You'll have to start as a routine. It's like anything in life. Mm-hmm. It'll start as a routine, become a habit, become part of your lifestyle. Right. But at some point, if it's part of you and you not just being part of it, then it stops just being being a right. routine. Because routine, you have to have reminders mm-hmm. to remind you to do it, or people to remind you to do it. But at a at a point, I don't need you to tell me to do that because I can't do nothing else until I do that. Right. I cannot move. I cannot shake. I something's missing. It would be like if oxygen was missing. You ain't doing nothing else until you... When people can't breathe, mm-hmm. they are not trying to do anything else. There's nope. nothing else that matters. I don't care what my hair weave could be out of place. Wig could be crooked. If the person can't breathe, they do not care. Everything is about getting another breath. Breath, right. And pressure mm-hmm. be the same way. It should be the same way. Mm-hmm. So what's that? What, like when, that. what, when, how? How? Mm-hmm. So, how should we pray? Let's see. First John 5 and 14. Mm-hmm. Now this is the confidence, I love that word, that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, confidently. Confidently. Okay. Okay. Um, ooh. Now, what's that next scripture? James 1 and 5. But let him ask in faith. 
with no doubting. Mm -hmm. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. For he is double-minded, unstable in all his ways. So I should come to God with confidence. Mm -hmm. I think that's what... Um, that's really what boldness is. What holy boldness is. We should. The Bible says that. Come to the throne of grace. Come boldly before the. Come boldly before the throne of grace. So to come boldly means to come with confidence, knowing. Confidence. That when 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 you when you read that that scripture. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him that is, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That takes me back up to the, the, the definition of individuality. Mm -hmm. I have to have confidence. Mm -hmm. I have to have the relationship with him. I have to have the prayer, the prayer life. I have to have the practice. Mm -hmm. The practice of prayer, you know. So I, I like, you know. So you can have all the confidence in the world in me, but that doesn't give me the confidence to do it. I have to do. Okay. Okay. You know, you, so you that's got to be some per, a personal relationship. A pers personal, yeah, mm -hmm. pers personal relationship. Right. Yeah. I like that. Mm hmm. And then. Because it says. Oh, an individual's private practice. Because, you know, that, um, just in, just in individuality, it's not even the private, it's just the, it's, it's the one-on-one. -on -one. You can have the confidence in me, you can have the faith in me, you can tell me, at a boy, you can do this, but if I don't believe it, mm-hmm. If I don't have the confidence, then that that goes with what you what you're the next thing you're saying the holy boldness. Then I'm not able to come boldly. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's see. Good morning, Sister Tompkins. Sister Laverne's on here with us. Sister Torres, that's my sis. Amen. She said, "Absolutely, praise Jesus." Mm-hmm. So there's got to be a a a personal relationship, mm -hmm. and so when you get to those other those other hows, but let him ask in faith, mm. without doubting. Right. So if I I think uh, up at the top when you were talk we were talking about I think what or something like that. Um, we were talking about gratitude. I can't do it. I'm not in a place of faith. Or I'm not sure. Or I'm not confident. Because I don't know who he is. I don't know him. I might know some stuff about him. All right. But I haven't developed that, like you said, that personal relationship. And so my prayer should be, our prayer should be in faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with some... Uh, it's my favorite word. With some expectation, expectation that a thing is going to... You knew what my word was then. Yeah. With an expectation that a thing is going to happen. Or right. you're going to receive a thing. Faithless praying is a waste of time. It's, it's, a, it's verbiage. verbiage. It's, it's, right. Um, right. I work with a nurse. She used to say, it's word salad. It's just a bunch of words. Right. <laughs> so, but there's, but faithless, faithless prayer is mm -hmm. irrelevant. Okay, doubt doubting in your prayer. Bishop um, Kirik talks about that all the time. If you're gonna be, if you're going to pray, but you're going to pray things like, 
God, if you can, and mm -hmm. God, if you see fit. What in the world? He can do all things but fail. So it's a done. Yes, he can. Right. Whether he does or not has nothing to do with if he can or not. And True. so doubtful prayer is just verbiage. And it and that that text says, so if you're the one who's praying and you claim to know who God is, mm -hmm. but then you're praying in doubt, you're praying with two different mindsets, mm -hmm. literally. Right. As a as a double mind, a double minded person. Mm -mm. So why are you even talking? Because mm -hmm. you don't even expect anything to happen. You you don't expect anything to happen. True. So why why would you receive anything? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I don't think it's like a uh like a check block of okay, am I confident? Check. Right. Do I feel bold? Check. Okay. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Am I hoping for it? Check. Check. You know, right. I don't think mm -hmm. it's a formula like that or like a sticky note to put on it, but it's it's saying that we understand who he is. Okay. okay. And you only understand who he is if you in the if you've been in the exchange. Right. Yeah. If you've been in the exchange. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just trying to figure out why we could. I wasn't getting the chats up there. I'm in. Uh, I went to. You are live now. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I, I'm not on the. Uh, Journey radio. Journey radio live. Okay, so. I want to make sure that we're getting. Mm -hmm. So. so let's go to. Mm -mm. Because if you look at it, I was looking at that um, when the the Bible talks about that, just praying in the name of Jesus, or not even praying in the name of Jesus, but using it like it's like a catch all. There, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that on? Uh, That's on Journey Radio. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Brother Sanders. There, Prophetess Carrie is. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, lost my, it, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. But no, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But what it really is, I love this part in the notes. It's not a formula, but instead it means that we pray and we represent. We pray in the name of Jesus. We we pray representing the name of Jesus. It's right. The, the same as if somebody said, like, stop in the name of the law. Right. They, you're, the stop, the in the law part is what gives you the authority to cause the person to stop. Mm -hmm. The name of Jesus is the thing that gives you the authority in your prayer. So it's right. not like a formula for prayer. It's not like a check block type of a thing. Mm -hmm. But it's the it's the authority that we're actually praying in. And so that those scripts, that text in Acts talks about people who thought they could Pray in the name of Jesus because mm -hmm. that was like the formula right. or that was the, the, um, that was, it was the power source, but that's not the way they were looking at it. Like the sons of Sceva, that type of thing. So you thinking you can like tack it on there mm -hmm. or call it that like a formula you can put on there. It was really witchcraft is what that is. Because Sandra says you have to believe first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Mm-mm. So it's based on your faith, based on your belief. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Otherwise, you're just checking a block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a waste of time. That's, that's, it's fruit, it's <laughs> word salad. <laughs> so, now, what about public prayer? Hmm. Praying in public. Well, see, now this going to mess with your private definition, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be it. <laughs> yeah, so be it. Um. So, Matthew 6, 5 and 6 says, And when you pray... 
You should not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, mm -hmm. pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think sometimes, some, I, I think people take that to, and kind of tack it onto the scenario that works for them at the time. But I believe when the text is saying that, when it, that question kind of puts out that what about public praying, mm -hmm. there is power in corporate prayer. Yes. Okay. But if your prayer, and that's the difference, corporate corporate prayer. Mm-hmm. But if your prayer is simply um, that scripture is really talking about not the activity of praying in a public space. It's talking about the motive of your heart. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's talking about the motive of your heart. Because if you happen to be in a public space and you're praying, that can be the benefit or the blessing for somebody else. Mm. That's not the issue of the text. The text is, what's the motive in your heart? Okay, mm. What's That's the good. motive? Because the motive in your heart will come out your mouth. Mm -hmm. So if the word and the verbiage out of your mouth is based in a motive of being uh, being seen mm -hmm. yeah, or being heard, then it's just verbiage. It's just words coming out your mouth. Okay, Because your heart motive says they have when that text says they have received their reward your heart's motive was to be seen mm -hmm. check done you've been seen and that's it that's what you were after that's what you went for that's what you got okay and that's the only reward that's it and you're done and so but your motive has to be your heart motive your heart condition or your connection mm. There has to go. be to him. Yeah. So it, it goes all the way back up to when you were talking about a personal relationship. And that's why uh, <clears throat> and that's why I I have I would have to scratch out private and put personal because it's not really about the location that I'm in. It's the personal connection that I have. I'm gonna try to get to the. Which one you trying to be in? Uh, the uh, YouTube. For Journey Radio. Mhm. Mm so. Mm -mm. Because you think about that, there's all kinds of places in the Bible where, um. Ooh. There we go. Good morning, D. Now we can see we can see everybody. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's like being in the hallway I the know, whole right? time. Yeah. <laughs> now go back and uh, catch Deacon Florence's comment. Uh, Deacon Florence says, "Is there a difference in prayer with the Holy Spirit within ver within versus our Father slash Jesus in heaven? Hope often. How often do we pray to the Holy Spirit?" I hear lots of prayers to the Heavenly Father. Well, when you look at that, the God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are one. Are one. They are right. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are one and um, they operate in three different persons. They operate in three different, um, um, not assignments. I can't think of the word that I want right there. But they have different functions. Functions. functions that's the word I'm looking right. for. They have different functions. But they are one. Okay. So when I'm praying praying God the Father, I'm praying to God the Son. I'm praying to God the Holy Spirit. And so what that is is the verbiage for for the person. That's the, the, the terminology. But they're they are all praying to the same one God. We right. have one God. Okay, and so and they're all praying to that same triune God. 
So it's the same thing, D. This is the same thing. Yeah, because then he says, um, seems like prayers for me with the Holy Spirit is different, probably shouldn't be, than my Heavenly Father. Well, your Father is, the Holy Spirit is uh, your power source. Okay? Is what that is. It's the Spirit that gives you power to to. To move, being, move, have your being, as we say in church. But it's that it gives you the power to do everything that God, your Father, has called you to do. Mm-hmm. Has called you to do. But they all three work in one, on one accord. Okay? All at the same time. Right. This is the thing about that. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are one with three different functions. But it's not God, okay, now I'm functioning as the Holy Spirit. Cha-cha. I'm right. in this position. Right. Okay? And now... Me, God, I'm going to function as the Father. Now I'm in this one. Mm-mm. All at the same time. The same because time. if you right. look at it, you look at even when um, when Jesus was baptized, all three were present all at the same time. Mm. All speaking at the same time. Gotcha. To one another. Yeah. So they're, they're always in operation. Always in operation. That's good. Mm-hmm. And so... That's a good question, Dee. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So now I can see you here now. And then there's awesome. There's Journey Radio there. Mm-hmm. Okay, good deal. And then... And then YouTube. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So... Um, so did you find your thought, whatever you were going to say about public prayer? Because I, I think I threw you off a little bit. No, I, I, I just lost track because I got into the technicalities of, of the the back end of it, trying to get things fixed. So thanks for The thing that when you when we were talking about that, about public prayer, mm-hmm. I was looking at those notes. Jesus prayed in public. Mm-hmm. So it can't be about the location. I mean, it, it can't right, be about right, that. Right. He went in secret and praised his father all the time. Mm-hmm. But it can be about location because then he also prayed in public. Right. Quite often. And so he's not saying that you should, that every time you pray, you got to make sure ain't nobody look it. Right. It's really neither here nor there. It's, uh, that's really neither here nor there. Where are you at? See, right. See, I just take that as. <clears throat> Privately is okay. This this is this is privately because because I want to get a closer communication with you. Okay, like me and you. Okay, we're out in public. Okay, but when we're in private, it's like it's more intimate. There, that's the word, intimate. So when so so when you're in private, when you're in private prayer, when you're in private in your in your prayer closet. You, you would say, you know, mm-hmm. um, then there's an intimacy. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. But when you come out of the closet, <laughs> leave that alone, leave that alone. When you come out of your prayer closet, okay. Is the intimacy the intimacy intimacy is still there? Mm-hmm. It's equivalent to even what even when you equate it to um, marital relation like us. So in the house, there is an intimacy. Mm-hmm. When we walk out of the house, there's the same intimacy. There's the same intimacy between the two people. There's a still there's still the same personal relationship is there. Okay. Your show of intimate of intimacy may be different in different locations, but the posture of your heart toward the person is no different. It's no different. It's no okay. different. Okay. And that's what and that's what that text is saying. God is not concerned about and that, that's really what that's talking about when you said that. He's not really concerned about the location, kind of okay. like your spouse is not concerned if I'm in the house and you love me. <laughs> when I'm in the grocery store, you still love me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. That's awesome. So, 
how do you think how do you think God feels if you only pray in private? Exactly. Do you think that, that, that he feels like, oh, so you're ashamed of me? So you're not gonna you're not gonna talk to me in public. Now the Bible talks about that too. Mm-hmm. The Bible talks about that too. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Because that, that's mm-hmm. what that's what your I don't know. That's what your that's what your girlfriend, your wife, whatever would be like. Oh, you can't talk to me in, in, in public. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're right. But when when we're all alone, you you, you got a lot to say to me. Mm-hmm. But in public, it's like you don't even know me. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's good. Wow. Ooh, this time is flown, baby. So, let's see. Did you get into Ephesians? I did not. I did not. Okay. Ephesians 6 and 18. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just looking at, I was looking for that scripture that talked about what you were saying about oh. denying Christ in public. Yeah. Ephesians 6 and 18. Pray all the time in the spirit with every prayer and request and stay alert in this with all perseverance and intercession for all the saints. Mm. Pray without ceasing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pray without ceasing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Pray all the time in the spirit with every prayer and request. Stay alert in this mm. with all perseverance, like you said. Hey, Sister Lucretia. Good morning. Good morning. Mm-mm. Been praying for uh, with them. Amen. But mm-hmm, yeah, be in. That's really what that's talking. Pray without ceasing. Mm-hmm. And you look at that. So this is the same person that just was the same person. This is Paul again, who just had to tell the people over in Thessalonica the same thing. And so now he's writing to folks in Ephesus the same thing. Mm. <laughs> right. To keep praying. Mm-hmm. To pray always. That it's got to be a part of your life style. style. Yes. It's got to be a part of your lifestyle. Yeah. And, and that's what... Uh... That's what Prophetess Carey said at the very beginning of the show. A lifestyle, maybe? Yes. You know, yeah. yes. A lifestyle, yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. a lifestyle. What is is what you do. It's who you are. It's not just what you do. It's not the block, just the block you check. My friend's on. Hey, Deacon and Sanders. Good morning, sis. Oh, I wonder if she's... Which, what state you in, sis? What state you in? <laughs> <clears throat> And I like the, uh, <clears throat> I like to stay alert in this with all perseverance. Mm-hmm. Pray at all times. Mm-hmm. On every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers. Yeah. But look at this. And with all perseverance and intercession for all the saints. For all the saints. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Say be persistent mm-hmm. in your prayers for your brother and sister in Christ. Be mm-hmm. persistent in that. Okay? Yeah. If you uh, when you're persistent about a thing, you're not letting you're not letting loose of it. Right. So if I'm interceding this matter of fact, this deacon is uh Sanders Lane right here. If I'm in intercession, I'm interceding on behalf of you, I'm going I'm staying yes. in the gap. Mm-hmm. I'm staying in the until I see something happen. I'm not moving. No. I'm go- matter of fact, sometimes when in intercession for other people, you are so persistent about it, they don't even believe it's gonna happen. But you ain't moving. So I'm gonna pray. Not only am I gonna pray for you, 
I'm, I'm gonna, now I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray for you, and I'm going to believe it for you until you get where I'm at. That's how, that's where I'm going to, that's, oh, she said she's getting ready yeah. to go to the airport. Amen. Amen. So we're going to, we're going to be in prayer for your travel, sis. I like, I like in the notes, that last part, read that last, start right here. Right there. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. When we live in an attitude of prayer, when we pray without ceasing, we are simply maintaining the ongoing and constant attitude of simple childlike trust and helpless dependence upon the Father. Mm -hmm. Childlike trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's good. That, that just caught that just caught me right there when mm -hmm. I was reading that. Yeah, and hopeless dependence upon the Father. It's like your children. Mm -hmm. It's like your children. Yeah. There's not, that's not a thought, especially people that have young children. But the reality is, this is this. That's the reality for those of us who have adult children too. But when your children come into the door, they, they have a, 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 a just a simple trust mm -hmm. and dependence. Matter of fact, it's I don't even know that it's a, at a dependence until a certain age. But there's a trust. It's just a done deal. Yes, that's when I when I came home from school, I walked in the door, and they were there. Mm -hmm. And you ate because in your mind, food came with the house. It's already it's already taken care of. I don't think nothing about it. I just come in the house and then I eat. I also look at it. They always had the answer. Like God always has the answer. Mm -hmm. When you're when you're at a young age, it's like mom and dad had all the answers. No matter what I ask, it's like he lives. They had they had the answer. You know they had the answer. It wasn't a. I mean you know. Now when you got older, I, I or when I got older, I could I could remember like, well I don't know you know. But when I was younger, it was like whatever I asked, they knew. They knew the answer. They had the answer. You sound like Kenley. You know, and, and so so <laughs> that's the way it is with, with, with God. When, you, when you're when you interceding or when you're in prayer with him, no matter what it is that you're asking for, no matter what it is that you're trying to get a revelation of, no matter what it is that you're conversating with him, he's got the answer. Mm -hmm. And that dependence and that trust comes from your first scripture. Mm -hmm. It comes from your first text because... I have been because I'm in relationship mm -hmm. with him. Yep. So I've gotten to know him and this this is a, this is always the thing because you know me. It's all it's a it's the look back for me all the time. And so you're in relationship with him. You know him and I know his track record. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So just like my parents, I I know the track record. They they yeah. They they did it before they're gonna do it again. I, like I know the track record of my to this day, to this day I'm 50 years old, but I know the track record of my mother. Mm -hmm. I I already know the track yeah. record, and so I know uh, my trust where my trust lies. But then it's just like that when that scripture talked about that relationship develops a gratitude. Mm of thankfulness as you grow older as i've gotten older there's a thankfulness that i have for what she for the things she's done mm -hmm. because as my exchange has happened with her i see what she did on my behalf same thing in my in our walk with with the, with the father in the exchange we begin to see what he actually did in sending his son and so my prayer is in a place of gratitude Mm -hmm. In thankfulness. Gotcha. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so my prayer life or my life of prayer mm -hmm. is more than just knowing what prayer is. I know what it is. Now, when I line the two up, mm -hmm. if this is what prayer is, if this is when we're supposed to pray, if this is how we're supposed to pray, if this is what that looks like, when I line my life up next to that, do those do those two things parallel? Mm -hmm. Do they do they do they parallel? Do they line up 
Does, does my life line up to that? Does it look anything right. like right. that? You know, mm-hmm. or is this prayer and then I mm-hmm. tap in when it's necessary? Right. Okay, that means I know yeah. what prayer is. Mm-hmm. But is pray, but is prayer who I am, or it's just a thing I do? Right. You know? Right. And that goes. Is prayer only communication when you need something? Mm-hmm. And I think that's what that that definition because I don't remember where that definition came from, but I think that's what that was talking about when mm-hmm. it said, "Do you have a prayer life, right, or mm-hmm. do you have a life of prayer?" Mm-hmm. So if I have a prayer life, I know what prayer is, and so if I need to pray, and I know how to go do that, and so I know how to tap in. I think Pastor um, Facing always calls that using your prayers to spread tire. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So. So I know how to to tap in, and that's good, but it should grow beyond that. Right. It should grow. It has. It should grow beyond that to a place where I live a life of prayer. To a place where it's my default. To a place a place where you don't have to tell me, uh, okay, so now it's time to pray. You don't have to tell me that. Right. It's always time to pray. Right. It's always time to pray. There's some certain, um, we come together corporately at, at specific times we come together because we in, we're we living in this time and space. And so mm-hmm. in order to coordinate things, we come together at a certain time uh, to corporately pray because that's your practice for when we're not here and we are corporately together all the time. But we come together on a scheduled time. But my mindset should always be in a place, Mm -hmm. in a state, that's what you said, of prayer all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a difference in a life, a a prayer life, and a life of prayer. Mm -hmm. So it's bathed in that every, every, I think in the notes it said every slice of my life. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. saturated with that. Yes. So that means like your work. Pie. Yeah. Yep. That means your work you, your Facebook yep. you, your at church mm-hmm. you, yep. your Instagram mm-hmm. you, all of that is is bathed in prayer. Mm-hmm. The nurse is bathed in prayer. The mother is bathed in prayer. The wife is bathed in prayer. The grandmother is bathed in prayer. So that's I'm glad that this topic came up this week because next week we're uh, when we come on uh, when we come live will be the, the beginning of our fasting the corporate fast the corporate fast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it'll be the second day matter of fact so yeah so this this is good timing which mm-hmm. you know, it's always good timing but mm-hmm. you know yeah amen yeah mm-hmm. so a life of prayer Mm-hmm. A life of prayer. Um, always connected to the Father. Always in, I, I like your word, always in communication. Mm-hmm. Communing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Communing. Yeah. And I'm always using like um, examples or paralleling it to marriage relations, marriage because the relationship that happens. In marriage, right. the closeness of the relationship, intimacy, yeah. mm-hmm. and so the same closeness mm-hmm. in relationship with the father, and so always in a in connection mm-hmm. with the father, just like you're always in connection. Your your spouse goes to work or goes, you know, to where or goes to do ministry or even goes to go visit family, but somehow you stay in connection with the person. Just because they left the house, it doesn't right. break the connection. And then mm-hmm. you don't communicate. You don't talk. You don't do nothing. For, for us, you go to you leave to go to work, and then you text them or you call them because you're in constant communication. It cultivates the relationship. Same thing in your wall. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Mm. That's good stuff. All right, That's Mr. Good. Kelly. All right. You know it's 940. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, tell me what's on tap for tonight. I can't tell you that. All right. You got to show up to find out. 
is all I got is this in front of me right now. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, no, we will be on uh, Bible study at JTL Global. So, log on at um, jtlglobal.online.church. Yes. Um, and meet us for Bible study at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. If you, and you can meet us uh, there or you can meet us on YouTube. We'll be on YouTube Live for yeah. Bible study. Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, we're finalizing the discussion on the church. Okay. The church. The church. Not the building. Okay. Gotcha. The I church. Like the church. The ecclesia. Mm. The assembly of believers. All right. So, mm -mm. so come on in and get a word. Understand the importance of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We hit some basics uh, last week, so we're going to. Uh, go in depth with that okay. and then that is the final lesson on the foundation or the basics of our Christian faith yes. and then we'll be moving into the next series after that and then if you've missed any of it go back to YouTube and the whole series is on there it all yes. has the same little thumbnail so it's all together you can get the whole playlist get yourself a whole month session so you'll be ready for next Tuesday <laughs> yeah. yeah so Mm -mm. Awesome. So, good stuff. You're going to pray us out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, let's go before the Lord. And then we're also going to pray for. Good morning. Hey, that's Sister Chris Ann Moore. All right. Good morning, Chris Ann. This right here, that's an anointed woman of God right there. Yes. She will send your whole household into a praise. Mm -hmm. She does a, a live, uh, a praise and worship live. Oh, Wednesday mornings. Man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell your whole how your whole laundry yeah. room tore up. <laughs> okay, maybe that's just my that's just that's just my testimony. That's just me. Amen. So, Amen. We gonna pray also for um Shay and Lucretia. Okay. Um in the passing of their grandmother. Yes. We're gonna, we gonna pray also for um Deaconess Sanders as she is traveling um to the airport and also um the passing of her um, of her niece and also her sister. So we just want to keep them in prayer. And then for we also be praying for um, those that have joined us. Everybody's joined us live. And those that even catch the replay. Amen. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now today for this time of fellowship, God, for the opportunity to um, rightly divide your word, God, for an opportunity, Father God, for you to give us a fresh revelation god of you father we thank you now in advance in expectation for all that that we have come to hear in our ear god that we will begin to do father god with our being god and we thank you for the manifestation of the things you revealed to us on today god we thank you for your word we thank you for your continued covering bless those that have joined us here live on various platforms we thank you father for how you have orchestrated social media and technology God that we might be able to rightly divide to study your word together in various locations who but a God like you, Father? Lord, we pray right now, God, for your continued hand of protection, Lord, as the woman of God travels. Bless right now Deacon and Sanders as she's flying. God, guide the hands of the one piloting the plane. God, guide her husband as he drives her to the airport. Navigate their vehicle and everything around them. Father, we thank you for being a God of more than enough, Father. We pray and thank you now in expectation for traveling grace and and arrival mercy that it is so in yes. Jesus name father cover right now um, sister Lucretia father God and sister Shay God bless their mother now father in this time of bereavement Lord God father we thank you now for all that you've done we thank you for the the matriarch father God and so bless them with every good memory father God with every fine thought God father give them comfort right now in the name of Jesus bind together the unify family members right now. We rebuke right now, Father, the assignment of the enemy to try to step in to a very imp that's been assigned, God. Help them, strengthen them, Father, to be the prayer warriors, God, that you've called them to be, God. Somebody will even be looking for a word even as they are grieving, God. Give them strength, God, to stand, God. We pray this same prayer for Deacon and Sanders, God. Give her the strength to 
to stand, Father, even as those are looking for a word from her, God, even in her time of grieving. God, we know your word, Father. Yes. You said that to be absent from this physical vessel, from this body, is to be present with you, God. You also told us there is a time and a season for all things. And so in this season of weeping, God, in this season of grief, Cover them right now. Give them strength, God. Give them a peace, God, that surpasses all understanding. You, Jehovah Shalom, you, the Lord of peace. God, to give them peace, Father God. We thank you for it now. We bless you for it now, God. A peace that will come in the midnight hour, God, when people have stopped calling. A peace that will come, Father God, when the phone is no longer ringing and people are not stopping by. That surpasses all all understanding the same peace father that your son left yes. with the disciples god that same peace god let it flow not only to them but through them god yes. that somebody else might come to that same place god that they'll look at their lives father and understand that it is the strength of you it is the joy of the lord that is their strength god somebody is looking at them reading these epistles god wondering how do i be that strong how do I get that peace? God, we thank you for it now. Cover them now. Father, bless those that have been online with us now, God, and those that will catch the replay, God, that your word is living and continuing. Yes. God, we thank you. Thank we bless you. Lord. We praise you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Thank you all for joining us here on this morning. Sister Martha. Good morning, Sister Martha Copeland's in the studio this morning, y'all. And if you... Uh, I'm finna go visit her. For all those who are uh, on live right now or even on the replay, if you have a prayer request, go to um, jtlglobal.online.church and there's a button, hit prayer and... Uh, Leave a prayer request. Mm -hmm. They can go to the Journey Radio lot website also. Yep, Journey Radio website. If you don't go to none of that and leave yes. it in here. That's right. And put it in the chat. Yes. 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 Yep. It is always. What did you say this morning? When should we pray? It's always time to pray. That's right. It's That's always right. time to pray. Yeah. And so we will see some of you this evening. And those that we want, we will see you again here next Tuesday. Yes. Get your uh, vegetables and your products, whatever it is that you have to do. Amen. And we are going to get ready and go into a place of consecration in about a week, aren't we? Yeah. And Sister Moore, we'll see you in the morning. Yes. Oh, yeah. sure will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Surely will. All right. You all go look up Chris Ann Moore. Go find her on Facebook. Yes. Go find her on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -mm. Don't say we didn't bless you with something. Go find her. We will see you all next week. Have an awesome, amazing week, family.